The full effects of the pandemic, health, social, and economic, will not end until a critical mass of people are vaccinated. This is why some have said that the fast distribution of a vaccine will be an even greater challenge than the development itself. This process, this challenge of getting the majority of the world's population vaccinated, can quite legitimately be described as the most daunting and consequential single logistical challenge, but there's one simple reason why it won't be so easy this time around. The cold chain. Vaccines are temperature sensitive. Most all of them have to be stored in a highly precise, climate-controlled environment in order to stay safe and effective. So the cold chain is the supply chain suited to shipping goods that need to be kept cold or frozen, such as meat, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. Of course, the difficulty with the cold chain is that everything used has to be specialized. The origin warehouse, the truck, the plane, the in-route warehouse, and the final destination each need to have the equipment to keep the goods at the specified temperature, or the goods have to be shipped in packaging that keeps them at the specified temperature. Oh,物流要付超前性的,或者是冷藏要比较中央处理的,可能我们也会有机会除了是一些物流机构,可能我们公营的,或者是医院,才会处理到,甚至乎就是可能要有一些疫苗接种的中心。最近也有龍頭藥企的CEO說過,比起疫苗的研發,原來運輸是更加棘手的問題。就以香港機場為例,現在冷藏倉儲面積大概是差不多5000平方米,亦即是12個籃球場這麼大。但是用這個量來支援